online marketplaces like Kijiji and Facebook Marketplace. However, a recent report found that 60% of people in this province are uncomfortable organizing in-person meetups. Joining us this morning with some safety tips for buyers and sellers is CEO and co-founder of Go Confirm, Kirk Simpson. Kirk, welcome to the show. Great to be here, Sid. Thanks for having me. Great to have you because I can't give any tips on this because I don't trust human beings. <laughs> I, 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 I understand how popular this is, but the way I think, I would have a hard time doing it. We're here to make it a bit safer for you. Before we get into the safety tips, Tell us about some other numbers that the report found or some other things you found in that report. Yeah, I think what's interesting is about almost three quarters of Ontarians uh, are uncomfortable meeting in person for all the reasons you describe. Um, about 60% of them are increasing their levels of uncomfort because of the fact that the media is doing a good job of telling us the stories of what's happening, what to be cautious Gotta get of, it out there. all that kind yep. of stuff, right? And so it's growing. Uh, the popularity, as you said, 1.2 billion people a month use Facebook Marketplace around the world. So lots of people want to use it. Let's make it safer. 100%. So that's why you're here. So I want to go point by point. We have, we have some tips. We have four tips to make this a much safer experience for you on any of these sites. Let's begin with uh, spot a faster pace of communication cadence. What does that mean? Yeah, I mean, if you think about uh, put your mind uh, in the place of a scammer, they want to know whether or not you're going to be a victim as quickly as possible. This is a numbers game for them. So what you're going to find is you list something on Facebook Marketplace, you get some incoming interest in that product. Uh, these folks are going to push you to move really, really fast. Like, send me the money tomorrow and I'll be there. Uh, this kind of stuff. Uh, an unnatural pace uh, comes from scammers, and so just watch for that. That, that's a red flag immediately, 100%. Uh, also, never hand over the money up front. This, this, <laughs> this seems like a given. For sure. However, people, people do get caught. Absolutely. And, and, you know, you think about it, someone's got to make the first move. And so what scammers will often press on is send me the e-transfer, the e let's say, uh, and I'll send you the goods right away. But don't take that first move until you've seen the product or you've met in person in order to gain some comfort that it is the real thing and they are who they say they are. Do you bring a friend along every time? Would you suggest that? There's a lot of people who do. And, and if you don't have an opportunity to bring somebody, at least let someone know what's happening, where you're going, all that kind of stuff. What are fake payment notifications? This, this I haven't encountered. Well, so I'm sure you've gotten some uh, notifications on your phone or in your email about, you know, a UPS package was going to be delivered. Three times a day right, now. right? It's Exactly. Yeah. So uh, what this is is uh, an opportunity for a scammer to send you a notification. So they say, send me this payment and, and then I'll send you the goods. And then they send you a fake payment notification that makes you feel good about it. Um, and it's not real. Wow. And I, I could see that, how, how that could dupe a lot of people. Absolutely. That's, they're getting, the scammers are getting smarter, man. Uh, also, watch out for fake profiles. Yeah, so, you know, there's been a lot of talk of generative AI. And uh, it's easier than ever to create these fake profiles and to actually put some, you know, fake images beside these profiles so they're hard to spot. And that's really one of the reasons why we started Go Confirm is you should have the opportunity to validate with government ID and knowing that we've done the work behind the scenes to know that the headshot is who they say they are, it matches the ID. You can do all of this at goconfirm.com. What else is available at Go Confirm? Because you're helping out a lot of people. Yeah, we are, and it, and it really is all about ensuring that you're doing business with real people, that you can confirm yourself to give confidence to the other side, and that when you're about to do a transaction, use our service to ensure that they prove they are who they say they are as well. Kirk Simpson is a CEO and co-founder of Go Confirm. Kirk, this is a this is a common issue right now. There's a lot of people. Look, times are tough. You want a deal anywhere you can find it. I completely understand it. But do it safely. Hopefully that helps. Kirk, thanks for coming by. Appreciate thanks it. Thanks so much for having me. All right, coming up after the break, we are celebrating you. Yeah. We got birthdays. We got celebrations. We have pet photos? No, we're not doing pet photos yet. I will continue to lobby for the pet photos. More BT coming up. They're just so cute.